Listen, son. You think you're gonna play a stupid video game about cars and you're gonna become a race car driver? All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. I'm doing it. Who do you think the best driver is? Probably Rory. I would dust him in a lap! Jan, let us always do something we love. You know what racing cars cost? Look around. It's not our world, son. What is this? It's a contest. <laughs> the best Gran Turismo players in the world get a chance to compete in professional racing. Dude, this is real. This is real. I'm sorry. You really think you're gonna take a kid who plays video games in their bedroom, you're gonna strap them to a 200 mile an hour rocket. It'll tear them to pieces. The guys who race are elite athletes. But I won't stop now. Your kids are scrawny little gamer kids. Well, that's where you come in. Come on, let's go! Cause I can't stop now. This must be a new experience for you, moving your legs. <laughs> you puked on my lawn. Hello. My name is Michael Morley, and I am here to review Gran Turismo. Based on a true story and a video game movie adaptation. Directed by Neil Blomkamp, who directed movies like District 9, Elysium, Chappie. He's a bit of a hit and a miss, this guy. You know, District 9 remains to be one of the best movies he's ever done. Gran Turismo. Look, I've seen some of the worst video game movies, one of the worst video game adaptations you could possibly imagine, and most of them are pretty bad. You know, I've never been really that interested in watching them. I've always been underwhelmed by them. The best video game adaptation I have ever seen is The Last of Us. That TV series is the best video game adaptation, and now I can possibly say this movie is the best video game adaptation I have probably ever seen right now live action live action video game movie adaptation and what makes it even more interesting is that this is a true story um you know about a game that is the best simulator um to racing cars it's the most accurate true real everything that you do in the video game is is the most accurate to the to the real life the engine, putting the car together, racing the car, driving it. it the simulator is 100% accurate to how you are actually driving and racing the car. And the movie is fantastic. Uh, the best part of this movie is, is you're on the edge of your seat watching these racing car scenes and you're watching this kid who is one of the best uh, video gamers when it comes to Gran Turismo. He understands the track, he knows the track, he's ridden the track thousands of times, and he, he gets to compete in real racing because he becomes one of the best gamers and the best gamer of Gran Turismo and becomes a real racer. And Orlando Bloom plays a character who allows that to happen. He allows his dream to actually become a professional racer. And his father, played by Jujimai Honsu, who play, uh, plays a more like his father trying to protect him, thinking this is ridiculous. You play a PlayStation. You need to. This, I know this is your dream, but you've got to. You've got to find something else, mate. Like he's trying to get him out there to possibly get into something real. You know, tell him you, you need a plan, mate. You need a plan. And he's trying to. He's just trying to protect him because his dream is just ridiculous, and he doesn't believe in his. You know that he's going to make it or succeed. Um, David Harbour plays the trainee, the teacher that teaches him everything he needs to know about racing, driving a car, and he is the character in the movie who is the pessimist. He is the one that does not believe that any of these people who are compatible or you know, able to drive a car in a video game can actually really drive a car in reality. He is the character that goes, I am betting that you can't do it. And Orlando Bloom is the, po is the, uh, is the guy who's the, you know, always happy, always saying this can happen, this is possible, live your dream, live your dream and it can happen. You know, he's the one that's positive about everything where David Harbour is the pessimist who's negative about everything. And it's a good balance between the two of them and I like that. And i got to say, David Harbour is the best part of this movie. His performance is so grounded, so real. The relationship between him and the actor Archie uh, is just real i believed it and 
I, I think if it weren't for David Harbour, this movie wouldn't be as good without him. He's what makes this movie phenomenal. He's the reason why this movie works. My only problem with the movie is that it's a bit Hollywoodized. You know, it's very Hollywood, obviously. Um, Orlando Bloom, his character is good. Orlando Bloom does a great performance, but he's a little bit underdeveloped compared to the main character played by Archie, Jujimo Honsu, the father, and David Harbour, who plays basically the main character. Um, he's like the central character behind Archie's character. Um, Orlando Bloom just, just he, he's there, but he there isn't much depth to him compared to the other characters, and I wish we had a bit more story with him. And that was that's really it. Um, some cliches. There's a romantic love interest. I was like, Ugh, you know, we don't need that. Great, that's fine. He has a love interest, and there's got to be a kissing scene. It just had to be there. You could have cut that out. Anyway, this is one of the best uh, racing car movies I've ever seen. Uh, I was so impressed with this movie. I was on the edge of my seat. 8 out of 10. I had such a good time. Highly recommend it. Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. His presence is shaking the foundation of the sport. This is the major leagues. The other drivers, your pit crew are going to hate you. Much easier with a joystick, isn't it? <laughs> I can't see anything. I'm not sure if I can do this. Most people can't. I got a feeling you're not most people. If I lose, I lose more than just the race. So I'm not going to quit. You've got to prove to everyone that you belong. You've raced it, what, like a thousand times? Now you just got to do it in real life. Turismo, based on a true story. But I won't stop now.